Hey guys, John here, your host on MGTOW is Freedom. MGTOW is men going their own way. You know, it's really interesting, the feedback I get on this channel, the stories I get, things shared. Uh, <clears throat> it also cracks me up the, uh, the level of assumption and presumption about me and who I am and what I think. You know, uh, I tell you guys a lot of what I think, and I also pose questions to you. And I say, am I right or wrong? What do you think? You know, what's your opinion? What's your experience tell you? You know, there's a lot of question about why I do this, what I hope to gain. You know, what's my motive? What am I trying to say? All fun stuff to consider. Anyways, let's get down into it. Today for me was like group therapy. Um, you know, I work at a public place and there's a lot of women that work there and had to listen to them talking a bunch. Yakety yakety yak. And while I was at work, I got onto the subject of um, men, you know, and <clears throat> I wanted to hear some of the gripes and complaints. Thank you, guys. It's going to take a lot today, that's for sure. So the, uh, the conversation rolled around to how good they were as women. And I listened uh, intently, right? And they sounded like um, rational beings, rational creatures, right? They sounded like they were all really good. But in the course, in the course of this group therapy I had to listen to, they revealed themselves one by one as having at least one major personality flaw, a major personality flaw. And I thought to myself right then, I thought, how much psycho do you need in your life as a man before it's too much psycho? And I thought, just just one, just one little bit of psycho is more than enough, right? One bad apple spoils the whole bunch. One bad trait spoils the whole bunch. You know, is it because I'm a, a strict prick, right? I have, my standards are too high. Or is it really that one character flaw makes marriage an impossibility with these women, makes a relationship an impossibility? And I think that's really what it comes down to, right? They could be a lot of fun. I'm talking about women, you know, to, to date a woman, to date a woman, a lot of fun. You could talk to her and... Um, it could be a lot of fun, but there could be other things about her that are psycho. Something wrong, something crazy, right? They're uh, overly needy or they're not needy enough, right? They, <clears throat> by overly needy, I might say that uh, they're, they, as you date them, they demand to know where you're at all the time, right? They need your attention. Or... Um, they're just completely the opposite, right? They act like they don't need you and they give you that I don't need a man shit. And so you're always, as a man, trying to prove uh, your value to them. You know, I go back and forth on this, you know, too much or too little. Is that really what's going on here? Right? How much psycho is too much? You know, what are you willing to live with? Well, see, I think a guy could live with uh, more than just one thing, right? But I don't think really the problem is our personality flaws. I think it really rolls back to another equation entirely, and we've discussed it in the past, right? Is it too much psycho, right? Or is it that this idea that women think that they're men and think that they're independent I think I could fix 
at least half of our problems as a culture and all of our problems, I think, in personal relationships by reinstituting prostitution and by a woman sacrificing her right, the now privilege, that is, of owning a man's property as soon as she marries him. See, when I talk about um, this issue with, with too much psycho, right? In the old days, if a woman believed that she wanted to get married, that she was marrying quality, and a man believed that she was worth marrying, <clears throat> then she had to accept and acknowledge that he was going to control her that she was going to do what he said, right? that he was the boss. And you can't have that relationship today. It's impossible. And that was the only way back then that a man could be satisfied right? with a marriage relationship. And, you know, maybe a father said, ah, she's beautiful, but she's headstrong. You're going to have to straighten her out. And so the man did that. And if a woman wasn't worth marrying, then she was stuck working for herself. That's right, working for herself. And she had to suffer the consequences of her life. They would end up um, with lots of bastard children because they were sluts, or they would become whores and sell their bodies for money. So if you wanted a woman, you just paid for a little bit of time and then gave her back. You see, so this idea that uh, a little bit of psycho is too much. Back then, woman was a little bit too possessive, a little too mouthy, uh, a little too independent. She could get her fanny spanked, right? Right? Yeah. Um, wives used to get spanked. A fucking dog just wandering around here. You know, and today that's heavily frowned on. Oh, you can't touch someone. You can't spank them. You can't slap them across the face. You can't straighten them out. That was a control mechanism for the man way back then. We'll have to go back to the 1800s, I guess, for that. Maybe only 60 years in practical application, but, you know, this idea that, um, you know, you could control a woman that you married because that was a condition of the marriage was only kept grounded or real because if the man wanted, he could throw the wife out on her ass and say, you wanted to be married, you're acting like you don't, get the fuck out. You don't get at the house, you don't get the car, you don't get anything. You just get the fuck out. So she had to be willing up front, right? And nobody's perfect. We all have our little psycho tendencies, our little imperfections, our little personality flaws. And that was fine. You just had to pay the consequence. Now a man, let's say a guy, has a personality flaw. He can't go 10 minutes without saying something to someone else that's personal. He's going to get hit in the fucking mouth. Those were the old days. Now you just look at the guy and you got to tell him, you're a fucking dick. Right? And he says, what are you going to do about it? And you're not allowed to fix things anymore. I said, you know, I could fix a lot of problems in our culture by changing just a few things. Reinstituting, right, the ability to fight with somebody. Right, a restoration of a man's honor. Uh, how about a restoration of a man's rights to keep everything he has ever earned? And that if a wife wants to be with him, she can. It's her choice. If she wants to be free, independent, and equal, and there's a price to pay for it. You know, because now, as I said, I sat there in therapy. I sat there in therapy, and I listened, and I fucking listened, and I listened. It felt like my ears were bleeding. You know, these women want what they want. And if they don't get it, they say, I don't need the man, and then they move on. Right. They're too willing to destroy a relationship. 
and they're not willing to give up their freedom. And giving them their freedom, giving them these special privileges, it makes it easy for them to say, yeah, I want a man, I want to be married, I want to be a wife, I want to be a mom, but you can't hold me accountable.